Let's get sketchy. Here I'm just merely using a torch to burn away all the rough cut areas uh, to prevent me from getting splinters when I go to sand these areas. I'm just wiping this piece down with water to see if there are any areas that may need some last minute sanding. Not sure if you've noticed. 
this, but through this whole process, everything else is pretty much I've uh, designed out. The one question that I have is with the I uh, and how I'm going to capitalize on it in an abstract form. Uh, so it keeps uh, evolving into, um, as you'll find out, the end product. Um, here, I am using uh, a technique that I've used for many years uh, with modeling clay, and I use it as a resist. So I you know, create circles or lines, and then when I lay spray paint over it, it resists, and there are those voids. getting ready to put a backing on the palm frond for when I pour resin. So I don't pour it immediately, I still do some other painting first. to the voids. Now each void had to be poured separately because of the convex shape of the palm frond. It wouldn't allow it to level out if I poured it all at the same time. So each one separate, let it solidify, go on to the next. Now the reason that I poured resin in these voids is because I envisioned this being not only um, you know, a regular wall hanging sculpture, but it to be able to uh, act as a sconce in a sense. So if the client wanted to put it in front of a window or me add a light to it, it uh, would add another element to this piece. This is actually copper wire that I pulled out of an old cathode ray television. So I'm just recycling it, folding it over, and then creating antennae.
hands like this. <sighs> Take big breaths of air. Hello, humans and animals. My name is Rob Boss, and I am here as confidant Bradford Shaw Herman to help explain the recent piece that you saw created before your eyes. This is her, she, butterfly woman. Has many meanings, but the two are butterfly, but also is a woman so amazing they are as creatures, much more than men. It doesn't have to be scary with the cycloptic eye that it contains. This piece was extremely fun to create. We love cutting out wood and laying in things and laying down paint. This piece is very cool. Thank you and we will see you in the studio. Take big breaths of air and exhale them out. Because when you're wearing that mask, you're inhaling more than you're exhaling. Flutter spy. Please, pretty please even. Subscribe, thumbs up or down. Again, it's all the creative process.